Okay, welcome back to T2 TV for tonight's BA versus O match for number one spot on the TWL ladder. Um, I'm just sorry, chatting in IRC for a sec. Right, um, I am of course taking out the first map 7 0 in quite a close game actually. BA just not quite managing to get the flag back when their own was home. Consequently, I'm looking like they ran away with it quite easily, but it actually wasn't. Just a few stats seconds. according to Observer Hut. Um, Good game. Storm, which I think Good was game. probably BA, Good game. had uh, 101 kills to 109 Good for game. Mo, 16 team kills to 8 for Mo, and yeah, seconds. every other stat is pretty much even, including the grabs. It was just that BA couldn't Ten get it back seconds. when their flag was home. Simple as that. Anyway, second map, Woody Merck. Five, Owen needs to take four, this to three, take it out in two match maps. Match begins now. Here we go to the base to get up and start. Plenty of ins disappearing out the door for BA as he can see. Go to heading off on attack for once. By the looks, unless he's going midfield. Nope, he's gone midfield. We'll follow him for a while anyway and see what happens. Plenty of home hotels. Go Dog goes for the shock lance and misses. And again, this is Master Shadow heading into the BA base. They have I think, two base defense war spots there taking him out. Needs to get a bit of a bear going on here because all of the BA's in for now down. Ambien has BA's flag as he cruises around the side of the main lake. He's got about a one quarter to one fifth of his health left and plenty of height. Guibo has the flag for BA, taking off with Ohm straight across the middle. Ambient passes off to Craig, who's probably the half again, if he is. Guibo has dropped in the field. Uh, Mojoman looks like taking him out. He's big, grabbing while Craig drops on the screen. Shadow returns the flag for BA. This could be the first cap. He's veg gets MA beautifully by Mojo Man. Midair mind this takes Mojo Man out as well, unfortunately. That is Turnit Veg sitting on the flag stand. <laughs> Got Guibo still trying to get the flag back. Turnit rambles up and picks it up. And the cap. BA doing it the hard way, but doing it anyway. Turnit taking the first cap. 101 to 1 in favour of BA. This is the second match. BA needs to take this one out. Panther with a quick grab and a drop. And we'll switch across to Craze to see what he's up to. He's not on the flag, he's down the base of it. Hops up now. The flag is in the field, but I don't believe it's too far away. Can't see it on the screen offhand. Guy down to Ohm's base to see what's going on. All three units are up. Ambient with a grab for Ohm. Taking the same route as last time around the side. It's worked reasonably well for him and he got it back to Craze last time, but Craze died with it. Ambient skis past his centre tower. Ohm's flag is at home, courtesy of BK, and Craig should come into the cap unless he gets taken out pretty fast. She won't. Gets MA, misses the flag! Ambient has missed the flag, thanks to an MA from BA. Comes in, and Craig picks it up and Score. takes the cap. Lucky there by Ohm, <laughs> almost managing to blow it up on the last second. Craig's cranking up the chain gun. Rather nastily to try and get rid of those BA cappers. See if we can pick up one of them. Is there Paradox coming in for too long? No, he's off somewhere else. So what Bert's up to? He's doing a bit of disc ban. Here you go, son. <laughs> he's got the beacon out and everything. I'm sure what he's aiming for. Can't see it. Home with. Plenty of ins out by the looks, well, at least one of their base. Ambient with a grab. He's got no speed this time. The turrets might actually take him out. He throws the flag off voluntarily just before he dies, and that flag sits in the middle screen until Panther returns it. This is the BA flag stand. Hawk trying to run up for the flag. He's not going to get. No, he is going to get too far with it. Does the disc jump, does, doesn't manage to run into a tree this time, unlike his rather comical effort in the first map. The chain guns are all after him, but nothing is hitting, and he should actually cruise in for a fairly easy cap. Flag is at home, the disc has come at him, but they're not going to get him. Until just after he caps. Craig's bouncing all over the flag stand, getting knocked off it, and need a BA capper right about now. That could well be Vert's disc, something. 
I'm not mistaken. Let's see if we can find him. No, maybe it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with that. Crazy having a bit of a whinge about a disband. Let's see if that is doing it. Paradox taking it. And we'll follow him because Bert looks like he's putting around doing nothing. Paradox is a fair bit of hell. He gets sniped out. And that was BK with doing the honors. Great shot! <laughs> Claiming cheater. Bungle has a bit of a gloat. There goes the cap, and that is Hawk taking off with it. The AA chart goes all after him. He's got about three pixels of health. Can't possibly risk a discharge, so he just throws grenades behind him and tries it that way. Chain guns take him down quite easily, and Shadow does the return. 103 to 204 in favour of Ohm. Second map. Ambient takes off the flag. He's got a lot of height, but not a lot of speed yet. Transfers one into the other and does a disc jump to get over the front hill. Should be another cap to own, I don't think BA's going to stop this. Except if a paradox can save a day, screaming past all of Linwine's turrets. This come after him, the chain guns come after him, and he dies badly in midfield. That flag should get returned. Ambient dodges a handy mortar and comes in for it. And takes down 304 to 104 in favour of own. As you can see, Ohm with plenty of turrets out. Main turret trying to be repaired and getting paper spammed at the same time. That should be win one over there, it is indeed. The turret comes back online just to have a little go at the capper. Didn't actually see who that was, it didn't bring it up on my screen. Anyway. <laughs> Hawk with a grab for B uh, BA. Taking BA flag, but he doesn't get very far with it, running into a disc at full belt. And that flag is dropped somewhere in the field. And he's up the base and returned by Wasra. Game getting a bit of a lull after several early, very fast caps. BA actually taking the first one of the game and then losing the next three. Gotok's still doing LD work as Paradox, BA's primary capper by the looks, takes off. He's got plenty of speed but no health and BK takes him out with a very nice laser at long range. Mikhail there to provide support, he's only got about one third, one quarter health. Almost hits a tree on his way past. And the chain guns crank up after him, he's going to need a bit of support here. Hawk has his flag so he can't cap this one. Mortar from long range takes him out. Yeah, that was hard. Pete's Veg picks it up and <laughs> runs off like a man possessed. Gets up at a handy inn sitting underneath a tree and continues dodging away. You see the own HO bouncing around him, that is. You can see, I think it was Master Shadow dying to Archangel. Pete Beg's still alive. Still with pretty good health as a laser flies past him. Hawk drops it and Lin Wan picks it up. That was a voluntary drop by the looks. Lin Wan bouncing around with an energy pack, probably in medium as female. And then just stands around going, hey, what am I doing? What's this flag thing? I'm a turret monkey. <laughs> BA putting on plenty of uh, pressure on him, but not managing to get a lot of health off him. Back to P's veg, very low health, and you need to get by an in pretty soon as chain guns are still flying around him. Mortars and everything flying over his head. Hang around very close to the flag stand, he'll probably try and pass this one off, and does. Where's that flag going? There it is, turning veg picking it up off the flag stand. Shield pack heavy. Uh, Lin Wan has dropped it. No one's killed him, so I presume it was voluntary. BK picks it up full health as a light female. Whips out the perennial sniper rifle and goes to the mid-air. No, Changes off the chain gun. Can't beat that chain gun. Hawk does a return. BK is still holding the flag. And he comes in for a relatively easy cap after all that. Quite a nice standoff there, but BA does not manage to get the flag. Back to their base. Ambient with a quick grab and a drop thanks to Cutstab's turret. <laughs> yeah, she taught that turret kill. <laughs> it's all skill. Just don't tell Jack. Crazy, you can see, under a fair bit of dish fan pressure. He wanders off to the side of the play extent to try and get away from it. Still got most of his health left as Lin One comes up to give him a bit more. Crazy under a fair bit more pressure now as the cap has come in. Crazy dies. And Lin Wan sits up on the play stand going, Shit, I'm not kidding for this! More gay discipline coming in. I've got to see who's doing this. And 
that is burn. As I thought earlier, just doing the disc span is quite an interesting one, probably using the max range on the disc to, his, to good effect. This is Hawk going across the midfield quite high and not a lot of health. Hit the ground quite hard and does. Gets away with it though for now. The next to keep it though is almost namesake Hark picks it up and his flag is now returned. Should come into the easy grab, but no, this Weebo comes across the front of him, right in front. Gets away with full health and little energy. Hey, a turret takes him down to about two-thirds as he cruises back across midfield. Grenades are after him, the AA turret's still after him. This could be another cat for BA if he can hold on to it. What the hell happened there? I have no idea. Losing track of the game somewhat. Ambient taking out quite an easy cat. I presume. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. Let's follow Glebo for a bit longer. This is Archangel going across midfield for BA. I haven't seen a lot of this guy so far in this map, so I'm not sure if he's captain. Ambient again with a grab, but he runs into the hop and turn it veg takes him out quite easily and does the return. Back to Archangel Paradox. The grab of BA, win one's turrets rape him silly. And he gets nutted by himself trying to do a fish jump off the side of the hill. BA Kappa comes in, lost sight of him in the span somewhere, but I don't think he's gotten too far with it. Own play still sitting in the field somewhere. That's it. Don't know if you guys can. Still with this fan coming in, Bird is not giving up with that tactic. You can see it exploding, it has to be in max range. He's doing his best. Oops, sorry, there's not one mouse in all sorts of different directions. He's going to find BK, he's probably going around the flag. Nope. <laughs> Pretty wrong yet again, and that flag is now returned. Crazy sitting on the flag team. Ambient for the own team takes off the BA's flag on his original camera. It does a quick grab and a drop by. I have absolutely no idea. Probably Guibo. For some reason I'm not seeing all of these grab names. But meanwhile Ambient has got all sorts of height and comes in with a very easy grab. Scores. So he's a cat by the end of it. 610 to 109. Again BA keeping up in terms of grabs. But not managing to convert just about anything. Arcane coming across the middle of the map. He does a disc jump, takes himself down about 1 6 health and is then taken out by Godog's chain gun. That is picked up out of the flag by Hark, one of the LD. I have no idea who that actually is. Hark is fucking around doing a two step in front of his face. And that flag is quite happy to sit there. Uh, grabbing a drop by and Master Shadow out of the field. He doesn't get anywhere with it. That's the ambient taking it again, trying to climb up to this flag stand and takes Inferno it. Score. Crazy again doing a very nice job as off despite all the rather <coughs> questionable disc stand. You can see there just coming in from the distance. Let's see how much of that is actually hurting him. Oh, it's a bit hurting There he goes, crazy down thanks to the first disc. Need a capper somewhere soon. I think it's spam going on this flag stand, but there's just no cap up. There it goes now, he misses the flag. Let's see if we can pick up... Ten Vegs, this is BA's hop. He's all sorts of trouble in his base. Paradox, meanwhile, has actually managed to grab it, and he's gone very nicely across the middle. He throws it off voluntarily. I'll see if we can pick it up out of the field. There it goes. Archangel with the grab. Pick up from Paradox. The chain guns are still all over him. He'll be lucky to get onto this flag stand, and he does. And that is the cat to BA. Score. Turn it moving aside just in time. And that is turn it dying rather horribly. Maybe we can pick up an own Kappa coming in. Where's Ambient going? Yeah, he's over near a sensor somewhere. His own base. Where's our game? No, he's not capping either. Jeez, no one's capping. Rather shy. <laughs> Turn your bench, hops back onto his flag stand and sits there looking amused. Look at that. He's doing his typical job of sniper defense. Mm. Yeah, 
Shang Dooku is grabbing a drop, doesn't get very far with it. Still watching Ten Fed in the BA flag stand as we see an own take uh, her getting the high pain. He is out okay, I thought he was camping. Wandering over there is a HO. You can see the lack of support, maybe. Maybe we can see what Ming Wan's doing. That's the wave. There goes the Kappa, he doesn't get very far, he's double body blocked by Ling Wan and Crazy on the flag stand. Ling looking like he's doing a bit of MD or edge hack. Never works for you. <laughs> Andy, meanwhile, has the play stand. He's going the same way, but not very well. Chases all over him, throwing grenades. Here comes a chain gun from in front. But he's still alive and he's still moving, he's just far up off the ground and not get hit by grenades. And he could actually get back to his flag stand. Bang! He gets knocked out of the air there. As the BA Kappa comes in, tries to return it, doesn't make it. Andy comes back and retrieves his own drop. Own flag in the field somewhere after Paradox had a grab and a drop, and that flag should be returned. Crazy takes the pickup Victory and the cap. In 813 to 213 in favour of Owen. Good game! Owen manages to take out the top six scores. Good game. Good game. Good game! Centurion with 27 kills and 306 presumably has HO. Major Man also HO, 24 kills and 270 points. Well, that was BA versus Owen, people. Hope you enjoyed the cast. And kudos again to Kiki Man and Mr. Lag for the server on quite short notice. And shout out from Santa to himself because he's just that cool and he's fantastic at warming benches. Um, I have been the Jesus Freak and I shall see you next time. Prepare yourselves. <laughs>